the keyboard is typing on its own. I will teach you how to solve this problem in this video. And usually it happens due to drive issues. Some people perform a Windows system update or use programs to update drivers, which can cause conflicts and make the keyboard start typing on its own. It could also be a virus related issue, but most of the time it's a drive problem. Let me show you how to solve the issue of the keyboard typing on its own. So first of all, you're going to open the file explorer, click on this PC and go to properties. Then here you're going to type on finding a setting and check for updates. When you click here, check if there are any pending drive updates. If that doesn't work, you can try manually updating the keyboard driver. To do that, you are going to menu and write device manager. If this part opened, you're gonna go to keyboards because they are responsible for make things working correctly. When there is a conflict in this in the software, problems like automatic typing or the keyboard not working properly can occur. To resolve this, click on the rub button on the keyboard device and select update driver just like I'm gonna do now. And go to search automatically for drives. For me, it's saying that my best driver for my device are already installed. You can try to search for update drivers on Unix update. If that doesn't show anything, you're gonna go back to it, click again, update driver, and now go to browse my computer for drives. In this part, you are going to click on let me pick from a list of available drives on my computer. Then you're going to have to mark this option, show comfortable hardware. You're going to click next and this will perform a quick update and installation without the need to restart the computer or laptop. Test if the keyboard is functioning properly. Now, if that doesn't work, we are going to try something different right here. We are going to click on show comfortable hardware or mark that. In this case, then you are going to look for something called Ortec. Then you are going to click on Next. I'm not going to do that because my keyboard is working properly, but you should do it if it doesn't work with the last method. And if none of those methods work, you can also use an additional driver update program like the Drive Buster. And if none of those methods solve the problem, you may need to resort to more in-depth drive update programs. Of course, there are some other things that you can try. Check the physical damage. Inspect the keyboard for any physical damage, such as loose or unstuck case. So clean the keyboard to remove any debris or dirt that may be causing the interference. Another thing that you can do is simply disconnect and reconnect the keyboard if you are using, of course, a USB device. Unplug the keyboard from the computer or laptop and just reconnect it. Sometimes a loose connection can cause several keyboard issues. Another thing that you can try is to use a different USB port. Because if you are using a USB keyboard, try connecting it to a different USB port on your laptop. This can also help rule out any issues with the current port. Run a malware scan, because running a malware scan is an important step in a troubleshooting keyboard issues, because malware or malicious software can sometimes interfere with the proper functioning with the keyboard. By running a malware scan, you can identify and eliminate any potential threats that might be affecting your keyboard performance. And this step is crucial in maintaining a secure and reliable computing environment. I recommend the 360 Total Security. You can Google it for free. Just go to Google, write 360 Total Security. The first link, you're gonna click it and go to free download. It's easy to install. When you finish, you're going to open it. Then you're gonna click on the second option, antivirus and go to complete verification. You're gonna wait until 100% and you can also put 
this box marked because the threat when resolved your computer or laptop will turn off automatically so you won't have any problems leaving that open while you are sleeping so watch the final video for more information on resolving this issue thank you for your support and contribution to the channel if you encounter difficulties watch the recommended video to solve this problem before i forget it's important to remember that if none of those solutions work it's sad to say but it's highly likely that your laptop keyboard is no longer functioning i recommend taking it to a technician and getting a quote for repairs in my area where i live it usually costs around 50 bucks to replace the keyboard including label i suggest buying the replacement keyboard beforehand to potentially reduce the cost as the technicians won't be able to add an extra charge for the keyboard itself I hope this final tip has been helpful and until next time.